It's time for your weekly financial workout with your elite personal trainers, Ryan and Bob Payne, guiding you on how to build a stronger and more robust financial plan. So get ready. We're about to pump you up live from the greatest city in the world and the city of brotherly love. This is No Pain, No Gain. Good morning. This is No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. I'm your host, Ryan Payne, president of Pain Capital Management, along with Chief Investment Officer, the man with the plan, happens to be my father, Big Bob Payne. Good morning, Dad. What's shaking on this last weekend in July as summer just uh, keeps on rolling by? Well, it does, Ryan. And I had um, I was mystified. I saw this big round white thing in the sky this morning. <laughs> I haven't seen that all week. Uh, it was great to see the sun. It was great to have both my sons here at the Jersey Shore enjoying this fabulous weather. So, Welcome to OC, son. Nothing like Ocean City in the summertime, so it's uh, it's great to be here. Well, Bob, I have some bad news. Oh, I don't like bad news, right? <laughs> Believe it or not, a new study suggests that money, in fact, will not buy happiness. Well, you know, it doesn't buy happiness, but it allows me to live in that yacht, and I can pull it right up next to my misery, right? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's the other, other way to look at it. However, maybe that yacht will help out a little bit, but time apparently will make you even happier. According to a recent Gallup poll, about 48% of Americans said they didn't have enough time, which isn't that hard to believe, right? Well, you know, time does fly whether you're having fun or not, Rye. And That's the older true. you get, the faster it goes by. Trust me on that one. <laughs> well, so instead of uh, boasting about your uh, your busy schedule and how much money you're making, it, apparently time affluent people are the ones that are going to be singing the most about having the best lives. So it's not just money. It's about time. So who, who would have thought? It's about time we do a radio show here. Let's get going. <laughs> well, we do have a great show for you this morning to help you on your path to financial freedom. We're going to fill in the blanks. Bob and I are going to fill in the blanks on some important retirement planning and investing concepts to help shed light on some areas you need to have covered in your retirement planning and investing. We're going to talk about the financial red zone. What the heck is the financial red zone? Are you in it? And if so, what you need to start paying attention to once you've arrived at this juncture in your life. We're going to break it down for you. Along with this week's financial pornography, there's a lot of stuff out there in the news, media, just hard news about finances you need to avoid at all costs. And we're going to do a spotlight segment where Bob and I talk about a real retirement plan that Bob worked on this week, some of the tweaks, some of the things he did to help this couple get on track for their retirement planning so you can do the same with yours. So let's hop right to it. So Bob, I want to start a sentence about retirement planning. And why don't you fill in the blank and you can expound on whatever statement I make. How does that sound? Uh, that sounds great. Let's go. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. The best way to be sure you don't run out of money in retirement is to blank. This is a very personal question, Rye, because my answer is never build the fastest growing financial planning firm in the industry because your partner, your son, will never let you retire. <laughs> I think it's more like, you know, work with your son, play a lot of golf, and he can do all the work within the uh, company. Uh, you're catching on. Well, <laughs> the, the, really, the best way to be sure you don't run out of money in retirement is to have a disciplined investment strategy based on, get this right, a written plan. A written plan. Yes. Yeah. Go figure, Bob. That's all you had to do is write it down. But no, that is a good point, right? I mean, the concept of retirement planning is not that complex, right? It's like, okay, let's determine exactly what you're spending. And that's just an exercise. You know, We can walk you through or you can sit down and you can do it online. And then you have to look at what incomes do I have going in? What incomes do I have coming in? And is there a gap there? I mean, that's the first place to start so you don't run out of money in retirement. Yeah, I mean, think about it. Look at your desk right now. Look in your kitchen. Look in your car. You don't have a written financial plan, then you know you, you don't have a strategy. And you have a collection. Typically, you end up with a collection of investments. You need a disciplined approach based on you, on your goals. You need someone to take the time to write it out, send it to you on an annual basis. That's the only way you're going to be successful. And why not know? Yeah, exactly. It's so much more therapeutic to know than wonder. And it also helps you get on track a lot quicker than just trying to avoid the issue altogether. Another fill in the blank statement here, Bob, is the stock market has the ability to blank. 
Make you really feel miserable. <laughs> it can. It can definitely it also make, make you, feel, make you feel euphoric. Depending on which, which way the market's going. Yeah, and that's the point. It goes up and down. You know, it basically goes up over time. But for whatever reason, the downs have a bigger impact on you mentally than the ups. Yeah, and I think the other thing to remember is the market can turn on a dime. Um, mm -hmm. And that's why it's so important to be proactive in your strategy, not reactive. You know, you might be thinking right now, hey, I'm making a lot of money. The market's going up. But as we know, bad news can come out tomorrow. Like, for instance, Facebook this week came out with earnings news that wasn't as good as expected or revenue news. Stock went down 25% overnight. Ouch. Ouch. It's scary. Mm. Well, you know, you've been in this business a long time, right? So what's the market going to do on Monday? <laughs> Hang on. Let me get my crystal ball out. <laughs> you got a 50% chance of being right because, believe it or not, it goes up half the time. And it goes down half the time on a daily basis. Yeah, exactly. And that's why it's so important that you have a strategy that what I would call an all-weather strategy that is ready for anything. Because the reality of it is, you know, you may have a portfolio that works really well today, but all of a sudden interest rates go up, inflation kicks in, the economy starts growing slower than we expected. You know, conditions are going to change on a dime, and you got to make sure that your portfolio is prepared for that. And that's why it's important, in my opinion, Bob, you want to have a second opinion just to make sure you're doing everything right and you know what pitfalls you actually have in your portfolio. Uh, well said, Ry. I've got a question for you. If an advisor tells you blank, you should run the other way. <laughs> I would say if an advisor tells you that an investment is guaranteed, because there's nothing really in life that's guaranteed, Bob, besides death and taxes, last time I looked. That's it, right? There are no guaranteed investments. All investment financial assets have volatility, price change, there's risk. They're called risk assets. It's the only way you can make a return. If there's no risk, there's no opportunity, there's no return. But, you know, I hear the word guaranteed bandied about so often in our industry, and it comes really from a specific segment. Bob, are you telling me that those annuity commercials where they're always guaranteeing income are maybe too good to be true? Is that what I'm really hearing yeah, you well, say here? They're always leaving out, you know, they're using the word guarantee, but they forget the word right before it, which is contractually guaranteed, right? It's a contract it's a contract with a company. It's no different than, you know, I lent money to my brother-in-law, right? He's contractually guaranteed to pay me back. What are my chances? <laughs> yeah, right, right. Good luck with that. There's a lot of deceiving advertising out there, and I think, you know, when you use the word guarantee, which is a very dangerous word to use, especially when they're guaranteeing a certain rate of return, which is just not true. So there's usually a lot of fine print when you hear a lot of these terms. Hence, you probably want to run the other way when you start hearing language like this or anything that sounds too good to be true, Bob. Yeah, and I think the thing is, right, it's that there's risk inherent in the market. There are ways to mitigate risk, right? The only way, you know, to mitigate risk is to be really deeply diversified, to, to you know, to diversify across asset classes and within asset classes. But boy, you don't want to have a portfolio that's guaranteed. Run. Don't walk. Run the other way. Yeah, exactly right. And if you're thinking to yourself right now, I need a portfolio that's based on my goals. I need to know what risks I have in my portfolio because I might not know right now. I need an all-weather portfolio. Here's your shot to do it. If you're one of the next 10 callers and you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, Bob and I will run for you our famous total financial master plan, and we'll do that with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic review. Simply bring your statements into the office. Keep it simple. Put them in one folder. We'll go through all of it for you, and we'll build you your own personalized financial portal so we can view everything at a bird's eye level. And we're going to look at all the critical components to your portfolio. We're going to look at fees, what hidden costs do you have in your portfolio? Do you have a lot of high-cost mutual funds, insurance products, annuities, brokerage products? We're going to show you how to reduce cost on your portfolio. We're going to look at income. Income is so critical in retirement. What is your income gap going to look like? What kind of income does your portfolio generate? We're going to show you how to optimize the income on your portfolio so you don't run out of income in retirement. And we're going to look at diversification. What unforeseen risks do you have in your portfolio? If the market was to go down tomorrow, are you protected? Bob and I are going to show you how to bulletproof your portfolio. Then we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan, and we're going to determine the most critical question. Are you going to outlive your money? Or more importantly, 
is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies now, we have been perfecting for over 40 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. All you need to do is call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next 10 callers and you've saved over 200000 for your retirement, our team will run for you, your own total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation and there's no cost and there's no strings attached, but there's no plan unless you text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. This is Bob. I'm with Rye. We're the pains of no pain, no gain financial radio. Hi, it's Ryan and Bob here, and we want to talk to you about your cash. Bob, many of us are sitting on a lot of cash right now in our businesses and personal savings accounts, and rest assured the banks are taking full advantage of our dormant cash. That's right, Ryan. Not only do you have to worry about FDIC insurance limits, but most savings accounts pay close to 0%. Exactly right, and that's why we're putting together short-term CD ladders so you can have increased FDIC coverage, and not to mention rates that are in many cases double what your local savings and local checking accounts are paying. If you want to learn more about how to manage your cash better, simply text the word CASH, that's C-A-S-H, CASH, to 844-752-6692. That's text the word CASH, C-A-S-H, to 844-752-6692. It's time for the weekly No Pain, No Gain Market Update with a team at Payne Capital Management here in New York City. Good morning, this is Bob Payne, the Chief Investment Strategist and Managing Director here at Payne Capital Management. This week on the Street of Dreams, we had the busiest week of positive quarterly earnings reports, fresh developments in global trade relations, and an historic one-day loss in the stock of Facebook, losing $100 billion in value on Thursday. Ouch. However, the big news of the week was the U.S. economy grew at an annualized rate of 4.1%. This marks the fastest pace of growth for the U.S. economy in any quarter since the third quarter of 2014. Growth was led by a jump in consumer spending, as well as a surge in exports. In addition, first quarter GDP growth was revised upwards to 2.2% from the previously reported 2% number. Now, the market has been frustrating both bulls and bears so far in 2018. For the bulls, there's been lots of good news, record earnings, and a plethora of bullish economic reports. For the bears, there's been plenty of concerns. North Korea, Putin, rising rates and inflation, and a potential trade war. And what has been the impact on the markets with all these different news reports? Well, you can barely get a pulse. There's an old expression on Wall Street, and that expression is, never short a dull market. Of course, what it means to short a market means to bet on the downside. So you never want to short a dull market because remember, in a big booming bull market like we've had over the last nine years, surprises tend to come on the upside. And although the major indices like the Dow and the S&P appear to have flatlined, a stealth bull market has been occurring in plain sight. So far year to date, our small company growth portfolio is up over 13%. Our mid company growth portfolio is up over 10%. And in addition, our large company growth portfolio is closing in on 12% for the year. For anyone out there who thinks that the other sectors or the rest of the market, like value, like international, emerging markets, and commodities, can't catch up or go higher, just remember that all dips in history in every market have been temporary, therefore buying opportunities, and new highs inevitable. Now, if you're sitting there wondering, what are the opportunities in today's market? Why sit there and wonder what you can know? Give us a call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Ready for what Bob and Ryan have to say next? All right, everyone, gird your loins. Let's find out. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, no pain, no gain financial radio. And Bob and I... We're simple men, so we like to keep it simple for you. And that's why we put together our latest video series, What You Need to Know About Creating 
and income you cannot outlive. It's just a great baseline to get you started with the retirement planning process. And you can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish. That's bullish, B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. Get our newest video series, What You Need to Know About Creating an Income You Cannot Outlive. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. So Bob, you know we talk a lot about the financial red zone on this program. What the heck is the financial red zone? You know, Ryan, it's that five-year period, right? Before you retire, the five years after you retire. It's a 10-year period of time that could be, the, I guess, the most focused you are in your financial thinking. Yeah, exactly right. Because, I mean, it's, let's face it, at some point, the game changes, right? And we talk about this a lot on the show, but remember 2008, market went down dramatically, You saw your portfolio go down dramatically, but the nice thing is you had a lot of time to make it back up. But when you start getting into what we call that financial red zone, you don't quite have the same time that you used to have. Yeah, you know, right. And it's really not that big a difference. I mean, it's just something you should be doing this type of planning all along, but it just seems for most of you is when you're really more focused. You know, it's like when you really start to pay close attention because at some point you start to realize you're not going to work forever. You're not going to have that paycheck forever. You're going to have to fill that income gap. Yeah, exactly right. And that's what I say when things get real. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, yeah. Things get real and that clock starts ticking. Exactly right. And that's where you have to start thinking about the way your portfolio is structured. Because again, having growth type of investments in your portfolio is great, especially when you're working and especially when you're generating a lot of income. However, when you start to getting close to retirement, into retirement, you, now you have to start thinking about preserving your wealth and generating current income that you can live on. And that's what I call converting your portfolio from what we call wealth accumulation portfolio, Bob, to a wealth distribution portfolio. And there's lots of mistakes that could be made, right? And, they, and the mistakes are magnified at that stage of your life. And you don't want to have those mistakes being made when it's too late, right? Because risk is something you only understand in hindsight. And you want to be certain that you're de-risking the portfolio while you're in the financial red zone. Yeah. And we talked about this last segment as well, is the thing about risk and the thing about preparing for the future is you have to be proactive, not reactive. Because again, markets can turn on a dime. And we've seen it so many times where all of a sudden, everything's going great. And just like that, everything turns on you. And it's like the old Warren Buffett quote, which we use a lot, when the tide goes out, we can see he's been swimming naked. That's a great point. And you see this all the time when, when you sit down with someone and you say, well, why do you own that? And the, the typical response is, uh, you know, somebody told me it was good. I mean, it's, you know, investments, <laughs> it's not about whether they're good or bad. What's really important, Rye, is what? It's appropriate. And, you know, you need to know, is the portfolio that you have now or the portfolio that you will have in the red zone, is it appropriate for that stage of your life. Yeah, and I think this is the time to evaluate if you have a portfolio that's what we call the proverbial collection of investments. Like you have a couple financial people that call you and recommend something because I think it's going to be a great time to buy something or what we call Bob investing on purpose where we're saying, "Hey, okay, is your portfolio generating the right amount of income you're going to need in retirement when inflation kicks in because cost of living is going to go up in retirement? Is your portfolio accounting for that? Does it have the right amount of growth for that? These are the type of questions you want to be asking or be asked, not questions about, hey, Bob, I think this fund over here is going to have great growth opportunities in the next couple of years. That's not real planning. Yeah, but you know, Ryan, a lot of people don't like to think about these things. You know, if I asked you right now, what's your budget? How much are you going to need to live on retirement? What's what's the response you usually give me? My brain's already starting to hurt, Bob. (laughs) It sounds stressful. (laughs) Yeah, it does sound stressful. It's like, all right, well, where are these income streams going to come from? You really have to do sort of an inventory about what your passive income streams are and where you have all your assets. A lot of people don't even know where all their money is custodian. They don't even know where they custody their assets. There's old 401ks that probably should be consolidated. You need to know what you have. And you need to know what you own. More importantly, you need to know why you own it. And when we ask these questions, we kind of hear crickets, don't we? Yeah. And I think you can probably, if you're sitting there thinking right now, you're right, I don't know where everything is. That's that's very common. So don't feel bad that you don't know where everything no. is. But it's very therapeutic to know where everything is. And I think you know another thing to think about along those same lines 
is it's kind of like going to the gym, right? With a trainer. You hate to go that first time. You just like, ugh, you know your muscles are going to hurt. But once you're finished, you're like, you know what? It wasn't as bad as I thought. And I think that's the same thing with starting the financial planning process. It seems a lot more overwhelming than it really is. Yeah, that's really a great uh, analogy, right? Because when you have a trainer, you know, they tell you how to correctly work out. You know, it's, it's something you can go to the gym and work hard, but you're not working out in a correct fashion. It's like playing golf. I can go to the driving range for hours and I can groove a really bad swing that doesn't improve my game. It actually, you know, makes it more permanent that I'm going to be a terrible guy for my whole life. What a trainer can do is see your swing, just like an advisor can see what's working in your portfolio and what's appropriate. Yeah. And so it's so important to get that second opinion. Yeah, it really is. And the other thing is it can be chunked down for you because that's the other part. It's not like, hey, you have to do everything at once. Everything is a process. And the process starts with budgeting, mm -hmm. looking at what you're spending, right? And then from there, you can start to formulate, okay, I know what I'm spending now. These are some of my expenses that are going to go away. These are some unforeseen expenses I may have in the future. And then from there, we can start to paint the picture of, okay, this is the income I'm actually going to need in retirement. And then we can start to look at, this is the way my portfolio is structured. This is the income it generates now and so on and so forth. So it's just one, you know, it's really one step at a time, Bob. Yeah. Well, you know, it's as simple as getting from point A to point B, right? Right. It's like uh, point A is who you are now financially. Point B is where do you want to go? How long do you want to be there? And the line between A and B is how much time you have. You know, the last I checked, nobody gets off this planet alive. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> That's coming, right? We hope. <laughs> but what about debt, Rye? How do you handle debt when you're in, in, you know, in this financial red zone? Is that something that you need to address or is it something that should be incorporated into your overall plan? Oh, absolutely. I think debt's one of the things you got to start making a game plan about too. And we talk about there's good debt, there's bad debt. Maybe you have a mortgage where you have a very, very favorable interest rate. You may want to keep that outstanding. But on the other hand, it might be peace of mind to pay that off. So I think if nothing else, debt's got to be a big part of the conversation, really at the beginning of the conversation, right? Deciding what you're going to do with your debt is huge. And that's all part of what the financial red zone is about. So, Rai, if you're in or about to be in that financial red zone, what's the first step you should take? Give us a call, Bob. That's right. So if you're one of the next 10 callers, here's exactly what you can expect from us. We're going to have our CPA partner review your tax return to make sure you're utilizing every tax benefit that's legally available. We're going to look at your legal docs. You know, 42% of you don't even have a will. Let's get on that path to creating an estate plan that's not an IOU to the IRS. And lastly, we're going to look at all your investment statements. Hey, we just finished the second quarter. Every statement is on your desk, usually unopened in an envelope. Let's stick it in a shopping bag. Let's pick up the phone and set up an appointment. We'll take all that complex information, simplify it, compare apples to oranges, and analyze your portfolio to see if you have the three key elements of a successful strategy, diversification, cost, and income. You need to be certain that you have a portfolio that's diversified across asset classes as well as within asset classes. You know, fees, who likes to be overcharged? You certainly don't want to be overcharged by your own portfolio. And lastly, let's make sure you have that income that you all need in the financial red zone. And finally, we're going to tie it all together into one customized total financial master plan and answer that age old question. Are you going to outlive your money or is your money going to outlive you utilizing strategies that we've been perfecting now for over four decades? That's right, folks. For 40 years, we've been helping families like yours get from your financial point A to your point B with your goals, your dreams, with your values, with the least amount of risk and as much certainty as only a fiduciary like pain capital management can provide. So don't waste time. Call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next 10 callers, you have over $200,000 safe for retirement. 844-752-6692. That's call or text 844-752-6692. Here's your shot to get a second opinion to make sure you're on track at 844-752-6692. That's call or text 844-752-6692. This is No Pain, No Gain, Financial Radio. Hi, I'm a cleverly devised personification of Wall Street. 
I'm one wild roller coaster ride away from wreaking havoc on your investments. And I love to mess with your emotions. If you're not properly diversified, you can bet I'll keep you up all night thinking about me. There's really only one way to keep me off your mind, and that's by coming in for a visit with the team at Payne Capital Management. They'll ease your fears about market volatility with their signature Total Financial Master Plan. They'll even help you get financially organized with their 360 financial portal. It's a great way to get all your statements in one place. Otherwise, when I take a plunge, I'll send you scrambling through your file cabinet hoping you're well prepared. Don't wait for turmoil to hit. Call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Schedule your visit with Payne Capital Management. Call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. It's time for Financial Pornography of the Week. This is where Bob and I scour the daily financial news and call out the biggest offenders of offering obscene and profane financial guidance to help you protect yourself from making any ill-advised financial decisions. So Bob, what did you find out there this week in the profane world of financial pornography? Right, it was met this morning by booming headlines that the U.S. stock market is poised for a crash, and that's crash in uppercase. C R A S H crash <laughs> is eminent. <laughs> wow, an uppercase and everything. I mean, I think if it was lowercase, I wouldn't have taken it so seriously. But now that the the word is uppercase, it sounds like Bob. We need to heed this warning. What do you think? This is classic financial pornography, right? They take a headline, make it sound so dire, and then the ne- very next sentence, the analyst is simply saying the U.S. may have a correction. Well, guess what? The market <laughs> always has corrections. And the reason we're going to have a correction is because there is a pending recession. Now, right, when was the last recession? The last recession was uh, 2008, the Great Recession. Yeah, so that was 10 years ago. So every day after the recession, you're getting closer to the next recession. I mean, is that news? That's not news. That's not news. (laughs) I think the question is, when is it coming and are we prepared for it? But I think that's the problem, right? I mean, you you never know when it's going to happen. Yes, there's always going to be something happening in the future. But to say it's imminent, it's going to happen next week, or it's going to happen two years from now, your guess is as good as mine. Well, this analyst actually knows what's going to cause the next recession, right? (laughs) Oh, wow. That's pretty good. Yes, because our frayed relationship with China over this tariff issue or this pending trade war is going to put pressure on the dollar. And as a result, it's going to cause us to go into recession. Wow. It's like the domino effect here. You know, one thing's going to happen, which is going to lead to another thing, which is going to lead to another thing. I mean, that have that kind of gifted insight, Bob. I'll tell you, if I knew all those things, what I wonder is, why isn't he just on his yacht making these big bets on the market, making uh, millions and millions of dollars? Why is he telling us? And that's the best advice I can give you right now. When you see a pundit, and usually these pundits like to be negative because it makes them sound more intelligent, when they're telling you what's going to happen, and that you have to invest based on anticipating of their correct prediction, ask one question. Are they wealthier than Warren Buffett? (laughs) And probably not, because there's only two people in the world that are wealthier than Warren Buffett. So I would say- they uh, can predict things that can't be predicted and somehow know things that can't be knowable, then you know, become the dean of common sense and say, I'm going to turn the channel. Yes, exactly. Avoid financial pornography at all costs. Which brings me to another point, Bob. This was actually a pretty good week in the markets. Uh, on, on Wednesday, the U.S. actually had some trade concessions with the EU, and that was a big deal because everyone's been worried about a trade war. That's all we've been hearing about in the news now for the last, I'd say, couple months, right? And now mm-hmm. we're starting to yep. see negotiations. I and mean, that's really one of the things the market wanted to see, and the market actually rallied on that news. But having said that, I was reading through an article, and there's a lot of articles like this, where some analysts are still skeptical about what's going on. You know, one analyst said there's a lot of possibility here, but it's not concrete yet. And what he's really saying is, let's wait and make sure that these concessions are going to go through. Let's wait for certainty. And there's a big problem with waiting for certainty, Bob, when it comes to investing in the markets. Yeah, there's a huge problem waiting for certainty because you missed the boat. 
once it's certain, the opportunity is gone. I mean, the opportunity occurs when it's uncertain. And the market climbs a wall of worry always. I mean, just take six months ago, right? What was the biggest concern on the mind of you as an investor? I don't even remember. <laughs> 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 well, it was uh, one thing was North Korea was throwing missiles over Japan. That was a concern. Yeah, that's right. And now look at, we're negotiating with North Korea now. Who would have guessed that would have happened uh, six months ago, right? Right. Yeah. Six months ago, people had given up on Congress. They're incapable of passing anything, let alone a tax reform act. What happened since then? We have a tax reform act. And the markets have rallied. So when it comes to concerns, just keep in mind one thing. They're concerns. They're not certain. And there's always concerns. And the market, the media, the financial pornography channels are going to focus on what makes you most uncomfortable. You know, things getting better gradually, that doesn't make headlines. That's not good press. But that's really what you got to think about, isn't it, Ry? Yeah, that's right. I mean, at the end of the day, the media is entertainment. And I think the other thing to think about here is I think this is a really important point is uncertainty is your friend. Write that mm -hmm. down, you know, put it in front of the mirror every morning and look at it. Because when it comes to investing, when everything feels good and the market's going up, the opportunity has been lost. And it's a very hard concept to practice in reality because when the news is bad and things are going down and the uncertainty is there, it's very hard to be an investor. But in reality, Bob, as we know, and you look at it historically, that's always your greatest opportunity to own equities and be a buyer. You, know, you need to use that to your benefit. You know, We call financial pornography ride, but really what it is is noise. And you have to you know, put on the blinders, ignore the noise, focus on history, focus on what's certain, make sure you have a portfolio built to win and have part of your portfolio where the worst you're going to do is where the worst you're going to do is earn interest and get all your money back when you have a bond portfolio that comes due. You know, you can add some certainty into an uncertain world and it's so simple. You just need to get that second opinion. Yeah. And if you're thinking to yourself right now, I need that second opinion. I need to make sure I'm diversified. I'm ready for retirement. Here's your shot to do it. If you're one of the next few callers and you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, Bob and I will run for you our total financial master plan and we'll do it with no obligation or cost. It's our famous full holistic review where we make sure that you're on track for retirement. All you need to do is bring in your statements just throw them in that folder, a brown paper bag. We'll go through all of it. We'll dissect it for you. And we're going to build you your own personalized financial portal where we can view everything from a bird's eye view. And we're going to look at all those critical components you need to have locked down. We're going to look at diversification. What risks do you have in your portfolio? Are you prepared for retirement? If the market goes down tomorrow, is your portfolio protected? We're going to show you how to bulletproof your portfolio. We're going to look at income. Income is so critical when you're in the financial red zone. What is your income gap now? What do you need? How do you need to replenish your income? We're going to show you how to optimize or increase the income on your portfolio so you fill in that income gap. And we're going to look at fees. There's a lot of hidden portfolio costs, a lot of high costs in these mutual funds, annuities, brokerage products. Bob and I are going to show you where all the hidden costs are in your portfolio and show you how to reduce the fees. And then we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan, and we're going to determine that very, very critical question. Are you going to outlive your money, or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies now, our family has worked on for over four decades to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. Let's get on your path to financial freedom by giving us a call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844 844- 752-6692. If you're one of the next few callers, you've saved over 200000 for your retirement. Our team will create for you your own total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation and there's no cost, but there's no plan unless you text or call 844-752-6692. 844-752-6692. This is Bob Payne. I'm with my son, Rye Payne, and we're the pains of no pain. No Gain Financial Radio.
From your first encounter with the Payne Capital Management family, you'll notice a difference. First of all, the team doesn't represent any institutions. They represent their clients. That's the power of being independent. They really separate themselves from the large brokerages in how important their personal relationship is with you, the client. You can expect frequent communication about your plan from the team. You'll have the freedom to select top investment strategies, not just one particular product. And as a fee-based financial advisory group, Payne Capital Management embraces its fiduciary responsibility to help you make decisions that serve your best interest and no one else's. See what the PCM difference is all about. Call or text today for a complimentary review. 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. This is No Pain, No Gain. Now, back to the show. It's Ron Payne, Bob Poon, No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. And Bob and I, we like to give you simple, common sense advice, practical advice that you can utilize to make sure you're on track with your own planning and investing. And that's why we put together our latest video series, What You Need to Know About Creating an Income You Cannot Outlive. It's just a great baseline to get you started with the retirement planning process. And you can download it for free. Simply text the word BULLISH, that's BULLISH, B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555-888. That's the word BULLISH, to 555-888. That's what you need to know about creating an income. You cannot outlive. Get yourself started on the financial planning process and make it easy for yourself. And if you ever want to learn more about myself and Bob, and yes, Bob's voice doesn't do justice to how handsome he is in real life, you can check us out on the World Wide Web at bebullish.com. That's bebullish.com. You can even sign up for the show there, get our weekly commentary. And you can catch me most weeks on Fox Business News, CNBC with market commentary. And if you ever have a question you want to ask myself or Bob, you can email us, questions at bebullish.com. That's questions at bebullish.com. And Bob and I, We'll answer your questions directly. And if it's a really good question, we'll answer it right here on the show. So, Bob, I'm going into my virtual mailbag or my email, more accurately. And I had a question that came in this week from Bill in Harleysville, PA. He writes in, Bob, what's happening to the money in my 401k after I retire? Do I have to roll it over to a different account or can I just leave it there? Well, Bill, that's a great question. And, and congratulations on contributing to a 401k because it's the smartest investment anybody can make. It's the only true tax shelter available to us, legal tax shelter available to us, you know, as U.S. citizens. But, you know, there's a choice. You can leave it there or you can roll it over or transfer it without tax to what's called an IRA. Now, an IRA has all the same benefits of a 401k, tax deferred growth. You're still obligated to take money out at 70 and a half. But, Rye, there's some very clear and distinct advantages of having your money in an IRA rollover versus a 401k. You want to name some of those things? Yeah, I think the big thing is conceptually is it's kind of like when you go to, let's say you go to a big grocer like Giant, right? You go in and you have every option you could possibly, you know, possibly want to pick from. Whereas like a 401k, you're typically limited in your options. So it's like going to your local bodega where you may have some of the things that you like, but you're not going to be able to get everything. And when it comes to retirement planning and investing, you really want the most options you can possibly have available for you. Yeah, sure. Why limit yourself, right? The, the, the menu of investments in a 401k are usually limited by cost. You know, your, your company's trying to keep those costs down. So they only give you access to a few different funds. And the bigger the company, right? It's amazing to me. The bigger the company, the smaller the menu usually is. That so you don't have me. the investment options that you need to achieve your goals. Yeah, exactly. You would think with a big company, you have the most options, but more than likely, you have very limited options. And a lot of times, the cost of the plan is, guess who pays for the cost of the plan, Bob? Do you think it's the employer? Yeah, because you know when you have a 401k, there's a lot of other costs, right? Because people are able to borrow against it. There's a re special reporting that has to be done. So you know the company sometimes bears the cost, but most likely, Bill, they're making you pay for it. So you can reduce your costs. But you know, here's the most important thing. The number one reason, Rye, why you want to roll over your 401k into an IRA rollover, and it's because of that dreaded, dastardly investment, the bond fund. Ooh, we don't like the bond fund, Bob. The bond fund is a very evil investment. No, you're able to really fix your risk by buying individual bonds. And when individual bonds are available to you, everyone in the world. So you're able to reduce your cost, 
right? You're able to invest in a diversified strategy, unlimited the investment choices in an IRA. And you know, another thing a lot of folks don't realize, right? You can customize your beneficiary. You know, you're very limited in your beneficiary choices in a 401k. You can be a lot more creative in an IRA rollover. Yeah, that's an important point because a lot, you might think that the will that you have actually dictates where those assets go. And a retirement plan might be where you have a lot of your assets. It doesn't. You've got to make sure that the designation is actually made separately and it takes precedence over the will. So that's an important point. The other thing I think you need to think about, Bob, is in retirement, especially if you have a lot of money in your 401k, that's really going to be the pension that you're living off of. And we have to start asking yourself is, is this built like a pension where it's generating a lot of current income? Or is this just a growth engine that has a lot of risk on the downside? You know, that's a great point, Rye. So it's uh, you, you're, you're in retirement. It's typically when you're thinking about, you have that choice of rolling over your, your 401k. It's also a time to transition to a different strategy because you need a different strategy in retirement versus when you're accumulating wealth. Yeah. And a big part of that strategy, which we talk about at nauseum, is just income. What kind of income are you going to generate in retirement? What kind of income do you need? And it just amazes me. If I look at your portfolio now, there's a good chance it generates very little income and it's very dependent on the market going up or growth in the market. And let's face it, Bob, there's nothing more fickle than growth in the market. It's like dating. (laughs) That sure is. So Bill, I think we're all agreed. It's time to take that 401k roll it over to an IRA. And if any of you are sitting there with a 401k and you're over 59 and a half, you have that option, most likely have that option where you can roll over your IRA and do what's called an in-service distribution. Yeah, that's a great point, Bob. When you're over 59 and a half and depending on your plan, a lot of times, even if you're still contributing to your plan, you may be able to roll most of the money out into an individual retirement account for yourself. And a lot of times that can be very advantageous. So if you're over 59 and a half, you definitely want to look at, do you have the option for an in-service distribution? It can be a game changer for you with getting retirement ready. Well, Ryan, I have a question for you. On a scale of one to 10, how financially organized does Bill sound to you? I think Bill's got a long way to go. I say Bill's a healthy three. I got another question for you. On a scale of one to 10, how financially organized do you think you want to be? Don't we all want to be a 10, Bob? You're absolutely right. And if you want to be a 10 in terms of being financially organized, all you have to do is be one of our next few callers, especially if you've saved over 200000 for retirement. What we're going to do is create for you a holistic view of your entire net worth. You'll have all your goals displayed on a daily basis in real time. More importantly, it'll tell you how well you're progressing towards those goals. If you're one of our next few callers, here's exactly what you can expect from us. We're going to review your tax return to be certain you're utilizing every tax benefit available to you. We're going to help you get on the path to creating an estate plan that's not an IOU to the IRS. And lastly, we're going to review all of your portfolios. We're going to, no matter where you custody those investments. You know, take all those statements. You don't even have to open the envelopes. Throw it into a shopping bag pick up the phone, text us, set up an appointment. We're going to take all that information and break it down to see if you have the three key elements of a successful portfolio strategy. Diversification, cost, and income. You want to be truly diversified in your strategy. Most of you are taking way more risk than necessary to achieve your goals. Let's take that off the table. I don't know about you, but I don't like being overcharged, and I certainly don't want to be overcharged by my portfolio. Let's take a look at those costs that are buried deep in that portfolio. Make sure you're not paying any unnecessary expenses. And lastly, you know, it's all about income at the end of the day. Cash flow is what you need. You can't buy lunch with relative performance. Cash flow from your portfolio produced annually comes in regardless of the volatility of the stock market. Let's be certain you have the income that you need to fill that famous income gap once you are retired. And lastly, we're going to tie it all together into one customized total financial master plan We're going to answer that age-old question. Are you going to outlive your money or is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies that my family has been perfecting now for over 40 years. That's right, folks. For four decades, we've been helping families like yours get from your financial point A to your point B goals and dreams and values with the least amount of risk and as much certainty as only a fiduciary can provide, a fiduciary like paying capital management. So don't waste time. Call or text now at 844-752-6692. That's call or text 844-752-6692. 
9-2. We still have a couple slots left. If you call now and you have over $200,000 safe for retirement, that's 844-752-6692. That's call or text 844-752-6692. This is your shot to get a second opinion. Make sure you're on track at 844-752-6692. That's call or text 844 844- 752-6692. This is no pain, no gain. Financial Radio. Hi, it's Ryan and Bob here, and we want to talk to you about your cash. Bob, many of us are sitting on a lot of cash right now in our businesses and personal savings accounts, and rest assured the banks are taking full advantage of our dormant cash. That's right, Rye. Not only do you have to worry about FDIC insurance limits, but most savings accounts pay close to 0%. Exactly right. And that's why we're putting together short-term CD ladders so you can have increased FDIC coverage, and not to mention rates that are in many cases double what your local savings and local checking accounts are paying. If you want to learn more about how to manage your cash better, simply text the word CASH, that's C-A-S-H, CASH, to 844 752-6692. That's text the word CASH, C-A-S-H, to 844-752-6692. Here's this week's Spotlight on No Pain, No Gain. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. And Bob and I like to break things down into layman's terms, keep it simple, basic concepts, and that's why we put together our latest video series, what you need to know about creating an income you cannot outlive. It's a really easy way to get the financial planning process started, and you can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish, that's bullish, B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. You can get access to what you need to know about creating an income you cannot outlive. Great way to get the retirement planning process started. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. And now it's time for what I call our spotlight segment. This is where Bob and I actually take a real financial plan and we uncover some of the flaws or what we call pain points. That's P-A-Y-N-E. So you can avoid the same mistakes with your own planning and investing. And Bob, you actually worked on a case this past week. Why don't you give us the rundown on that case and some of the things that you did to help this couple get on what we call the path to financial freedom. Yeah, right. This is exactly the couple that we talk about almost on a weekly basis. Someone who is in the financial red zone, they're thinking about, you know, whether they're going to retire in four years or five years, you know, what assets they need to redeploy. And they're sitting there with an advisor who is the family advisor, you know, late seventies, working for a major wirehouse. Actually, the client mentioned to me that this financial advisor worked with her grandfather. So we had a, a three-generation financial advisor who was wow. really at the end of the day, kind of just a stockbroker, which they felt some loyalty to, but they just wanted a second opinion. And they, they took advantage of our offer to get a second opinion. And it was just interesting and fascinating you know, to sit down and see what's happening to people that are getting ready to be in the financial red zone and, and what they do and don't know about their financial situation. So just, you know, out of curious about the officer going for a second opinion. I mean, what sparked it? Did they feel like they had everything covered or was there this thought in the back of their mind like, I might not just have everything set up the way it should be for retirement? I mean, what really sparked the review with you? Well, there are a couple of things. You know, first of all, they're advisors in the late 70s and works for a big wirehouse, you know, a big brokerage firm. And they thought, okay, if he passes away, or he retires, which, you know, he's entitled to. That's an issue. Um, yeah. They're probably going to hand off our account to, to some rookie in the boardroom. You know, they're probably just going to give us to some newly minted stockbroker out of their training program. So that was something they were really worried about. And secondly, That's a good point. they didn't know, they had no idea, and they wanted to know exactly how he was getting paid and compensated and what they were paying in expenses. And thirdly, they wanted to know, how were they doing? Were they on track? You know, because it's like we talked about today. They're in the financial red zone and now they're focused. You know, they know they only have so much time left. They can only save so much money. And they're now getting excited about actually retiring and having the rest of their lives to enjoy. 
Yeah, and that's a really common one I hear all the time is, how are we doing, right? A lot of times you don't even know if your advisor is doing well for you or not doing well for you. And you know, it's surprising to me, but a lot of times you don't even know if you've been making money. And that's a big deal. You, know, you need to make sure your money's growing because you're going to need to live off it at some point. Yeah, and that was really the hard part about the presentation because you know, the first thing we found out is they're paying 100% more than they needed to. They had 100% uh, more. very expensive, wow. in, yeah, very expensive internal costs, which of course are not displayed on the statement. So they didn't know what the internal costs were, you know, on each of their of their portfolios. So we were able to demonstrate that to them on one sheet of paper. And the second thing that you know, I went through each. This is a very large portfolio, right? And I went through each statement, and what we found out was relative to what the markets have done over the last ten years, they really weren't making any money, and actually. They had one portfolio of dreaded bond funds, but these are the worst bond funds you could possibly have. They were leveraged. In other words, they were borrowing 50% of the value in the bond funds to buy more bonds, and they were down yeah. 6 to 10% this year already. So it's like it's almost like, a, like you're buying a house, you borrow against the house to buy another house, and so on and so forth. I mean, that's essentially how leverage works, which, let's be real, if you're getting ready for retirement, is that the kind of risky strategy you want to be deploying? You know, leveraging your portfolio? It's that's crazy. Yeah, and shame on the advisor because they were told these were safe. You know, this was the safe part of their portfolio, high quality bonds that were safe. Well, you know what? Unless you have a bond with a fixed coupon and a fixed maturity date, you don't have a safe investment. But you know, the best part about it, right, was I could give them such good news. And the good news was they've accumulated enough wealth to live a comfortable retirement. They're set for life as long as they're able to have a diversified portfolio that is built to win. In other words, as long as they took the hard-earned assets that they accumulated right. and had it invested in a strategy where they only need to get, they needed to get below average returns to achieve their goals. Isn't that and the amazing part? And once they part? saw that, they were so excited. Isn't that the amazing part? It, it's, and we see this all the time. It's like, look, you've done a great job saving for retirement and I, I say it jokingly sometimes, but I mean it, let's not screw it up. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we do such a good job screwing it up, you know, putting our portfolios at an unnecessary risk. And to your point, Bob, you might not need a big return in your portfolio, so why risk it? Why not just achieve the return you need to retire comfortably where you don't have to worry about things? In our industry's parlance, this was a layup, right? We were able to show them how to reduce their costs by 100%, increase their income, because we're going to invest their money in higher quality income generating vehicles. So between the cost savings, increased income, how about $72,000 a year in free cash flow? 72,000 oh a year for the rest of their lives. Bob, if I'm reading this right, so out of that 70,000 more that you're gonna be able to produce an in income, 40,000 of that is just reducing the fees. So you're actually gonna reduce the cost. $40,000 a year is a lot of money in fees. That's like a that's a nice new car every year. I mean, that's pretty crazy. It really is. And if you compound that properly over 20 years on a $4 million portfolio, you actually double your money in 20 years. So instead of having 4 million, you have 8 million, and that's just from reducing the take of a big bank and putting that money in your bank in your pocket to your benefit and to your children's benefit. I love it. I mean, it's that has nothing to do is if the market's going to go up, it, it's just simply increasing the income and reducing the cost on the portfolio. And if you're thinking to yourself, this is what I need. I need to make sure that I'm not being overcharged on my investments. I have ample income coming in to live off of, so I'm not going into my principal in retirement. Here's your shot to do it. We still have a few slots left. If you call right now and you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, we'll run a review just like this for you, our famous total financial master plan. And we'll do that with no obligation or cost. It's a full second opinion. We're literally just bringing your statements, just put them in a folder, whatever, brown paper bag. We'll sort through all of it for you. And we're going to load everything into and build you your own personalized portal so we can take a bird's eye view and make sure you're retirement ready and look at all these critical components. We're going to look at fees we're going to reduce this couple's fees by $40,000 a year. How can we help you reduce cost on your portfolio? We're going to look at income. We're going to increase the income in this portfolio to over $30,000 a year. How can we optimize the income on your portfolio for retirement? And we're going to look at diversification. 
What unnecessary risks are you taking in your portfolio? This couple has a lot of risky bond funds. What do you have in your portfolio that you don't know about? What risks do you have in your portfolio? Do you have leverage? Are there bond funds that don't come due? We're going to show you how to reduce that risk on your portfolio to protect you. Then we're going to tie it all together in one total financial master plan, utilizing strategies now our family has worked on for literally four decades to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. Don't miss out. This is your shot. Give us a call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next few callers, you've saved over 200000 for your retirement, we'll run for you your own total financial masterpiece. There's no obligation and there's no cost, but there's no plan unless you call or text 844-752-6692. Six six nine two. That's eight four four seven five two six six nine two. Wow! Another great show, Bob. And it was just an all Bob Ryan show this morning, which doesn't get better than that. And now, and now it's time to go to the beach to enjoy this fantastic summer weekend. All right, you grab the umbrella, Rye. I'll grab the chairs. <laughs> I like it. We'll have a great weekend, and as always, be bullish. Information provided on today's show is provided for information purposes only and does not constitute investment, tax, or legal advice. Information has been obtained from sources that are deemed to be reliable, but their accuracy and completeness cannot be guaranteed. Always consult with an investment, legal, or tax professional before taking any action.